So in this video, I'm going to show you three different ways you can hook up your Node MCU Fireplace Alexa controlled starter to your fireplace. So first off, if you haven't seen my previous video, there's a link to it in the description that explains how to get the code on there, how to hook up to Alexa, and all that stuff. What this video goes into is how to actually do the physical wiring to the fireplace. And if you have a wall switch, how to do it there. So there's three different ways you can do this. Some are easier than others, but sometimes the more complex ways are not the best ways. You'll have to pick which one is right for you. So let's talk about the first one here. This is what I call the direct mode. And this is the way I actually have it right now. And this is the way I did it in the previous video. In the direct mode, your light switch here is completely out of the picture. There'll just be some wires just dangling off doing nothing. And that's perfectly fine if you don't ever want to use your wall switch. What you do is simply to your fireplace controller, you've got two wires coming off. One goes to the comm on the relay, which is usually the center one, and the other one over here goes to the normally open contact. That's direct mode, super easy. Completely takes this light switch out of the picture. All right, let's go down here to the second one. Second one's a little bit different. I call it the kill switch mode. And what this does is leaves your light switch, your wall switch in the picture but it's not fully functional like you might think. Essentially, this works like a kill switch like you used to put on cars many years ago where you had a secret switch. And if you ever turn that switch off, people wouldn't know how to steal your car. In this case, for the fireplace to start, when you asked Alexa to start it, this light switch would always have to be in the on position. This is also kind of like an emergency set off switch. So 99% of the time, you will leave this light switch on, you tell Alexa to start the fireplace, and it works just fine. But if there is an emergency, emergency situation, and for whatever reason, you know, Alexa was unresponsive or something like that, you could easily turn off your fireplace by walking up and pushing this light switch to off. Now, as long as that light switch isn't off, Alexa cannot start your fireplace. It, it'll be a broken circuit. It will not happen. So this is probably my favorite mode. It kind of gives you a, a, a fail safe, so to speak, but it allows you to fully control the fireplace with Alexa. The third way is the three-way switch mode. And this is hooked up very similar to, you probably have a, a three-way switch probably in a hallway or something, right? Where you have one switch on this wall, which turns on a hall light, but then at the other end of the hall, you have another switch that turns it off. The thing about that, you've, I'm sure you've noticed that the position of the switch doesn't necessarily mean on, mean on or off. Um, in, a, in a regular two-way switch, you know, up is always on and down is always off. But in a three-way switch, it depends what you did with the other switch, uh, what this switch is gonna do. So in this case, <clears throat> this light switch can be in any position. It can be in the on position or the off position, doesn't matter. If you tell Alexa to turn on the fireplace, it'll be able to do it. Now, if the fireplace is on and you wanna turn it off with the wall switch, you can wash, walk over and push the switch to the opposite direction that it is now, and the fireplace will go off. Then, if you want to use the light switch to turn it back on again, that's fine, you can do that. If you want to use Alexa to turn it back on again, you can do that. The only downside, well, there's two downsides to this three-way switch mode. The first one being is that Alexa will not know the state of your your relay. For example, if you say Alexa turn the fireplace on, Alexa will switch 
your relay to the on position. But then if you turn it off with the wall switch, the fireplace will go out, but Alexa will still think that that switch is on, and it is. The relay will still be on, but the fireplace will be out. So in order to, your next command to Alexa will actually be backwards. So even though the fireplace is off, you'll have to tell Alexa to turn the fireplace off, which will actually switch the fireplace back on. So it's working just like a three-way switch that we talked about earlier that you might have in your hallway or something, but I really don't like it because it just, it doesn't make sense if you have to ask Alexa to turn the fireplace off or on. Uh, do the opposite of what it actually is. Um, if you leave the wall switch in a certain position, then you'll always be able to tell Alexa to do the right thing, turn it on, to turn it on, turn it off, to turn it off. Uh, that's the first downside. The second downside is the way the code is right now, as soon as it boots up, if there's a power failure or you just plug it in, as soon as it boots up, it's going to automatically turn that relay off. Um, I put that in at the beginning, it's kind of a safety feature, but in the three-way switch mode, if, it, if you have a power failure while, say, you're at work or something, nobody's home, uh, node MCU goes off, comes back on, it's going to flip that, uh, it may potentially flip that relay in the opposite position that was on from earlier, and it could actually turn your fireplace on when you're not home. So I don't like that. I think that's, that's dangerous and obviously a, a waste of energy as well. So... A three-way switch mode is probably not the best idea unless you make a few code, code changes and or you regularly use a switch. So I think the kill switch is the way to go. I like that. It gives you a quick emergency shutoff. It gives you a kind of safety feature if you're going to be on vacation or something out of your house for a couple a week or so. Turn that light switch off just to make sure there's no way Alexa could turn on your fireplace.